The glitched No Star Crambit, one of CSGO's most legendary skins, the impossible knife that shouldn't exist, with an impossible wear value of zero that no other skin will ever be able to match, isn't alone. That's right, it turns out it's not the only one of these glitched items out there. How this new skin escaped anyone's notice all these years, I have no idea, but it exists, it's been discovered, and we are gonna check it out. Now, this video is sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skinport has a huge range of skins, nearly 300,000 of them, which you can buy at major discounts compared to the Steam market. It's super highly rated on Trustpilot, and it's also a massive part of the story behind this skin. So I'm actually gonna stop the plug slightly early because we need to talk about something else. You see, given I'm sponsored by Skinport, you might be left with the impression that I'm close with the owner, which I'm actually not. And it's not because I don't like him, it's because being a YouTuber involves doing things like working 100 hours a week, and I suspect he's probably working similar hours anyway. If you wanna be a YouTuber, don't expect to have time for lots of friends or really much free time at all. And the reason I'm saying this is that if I get a message out of the blue from the owner of Skinport, I know it's gonna be something big and important. And this morning, I got a message from him. It seemed like he was in a hurry given there was a typo in a literal three word message. So I brought up Discord and replied, at which point he dropped it on me. We've detected another zero float item. Now, zero float items are kind of a big deal because there is only one of them, namely this Karambit a legendary glitched item created by Steam support during the early days of CSGO, owned by people like the infamous collector HFB and last seen in this guy's inventory, but since it's private, we don't even know if it's there anymore. But regardless, this skin is a big deal, and it's also been an extremely lucrative topic for YouTubers over the years, so you can imagine what I was thinking the moment I heard this. So I asked for a link, and I got a link to something else I didn't know about. Uh, Apparently Skinport is working on a skin starter base. I didn't know about it. Apparently it's in early alpha. I don't think the plan was to publicly reveal it just yet, but that plan was now completely out the window because at the top of the database, there was a mysterious skin I'd never seen before. A bayonet with a zero float value. Cisco's second ever glitch zero float skin. And while it looks similar to the glitch Karambit on paper, I quickly realized that this thing is actually its own unique one-of-a-kind glitched item. And this is what I've been able to find about it. Now, whenever I find an unusual skin, generally speaking, the first thing I do is check out the owner because their profile will often tell you a lot about the skin. In this case, the owner appears to be a weave from Hong Kong, which is pretty normal, nothing special there, but a quick look at their CSGO achievements shows that they are an OG. They've been playing CSGO since at least 2013. And they're also still semi-active at the game. They last played it on the 23rd of November. Now, a look at their inventory shows that they're not really that into skins. There's not much here, but importantly, the bayonet is right at the back here. In fact, it's right in front of this Operation Payback Challenge coin, which is from 2013. So this is quite an old skin. It's an old skin in the inventory of an OG, which is pretty much what I was expecting here. Glitch skins tend to be old skins. That's pretty normal. The No Star Karambit, for example, is quite old. And seeing that this thing was old too, made a lot of sense. But the item itself might not be quite what you think it is. For one, you're probably already noticing that the bayonet has a star on it. So it's different from the No Star Karambit. In fact, when you look at it in game, it's actually no different to an ordinary vanilla bayonet. On the surface, there's nothing obviously wrong with this skin, which is quite different to the No Star Karambit. But beneath the surface, it is all kinds of messed up. First of all, we've got the zero wear value. Vanilla knives always have a wear value. Now, is it theoretically possible for a skin to be dropped with a literal wear value of zero? Maybe, I'd need to ask a coder to know for sure, but it's kind of a moot point here because vanilla knives shouldn't be able to go this slow. Their minimum float is normally capped at 0.06. So this value here is completely impossible anyway. And by the way, unlike a normal vanilla bayonet, this skin also isn't tradable or marketable. It's actually locked to this account. And that makes it doubly glitched. Every other vanilla bayonet out there is tradable and marketable, but not this one. And you see, you can make a vanilla skin with a wear value of zero and a paint seed of zero really easily. All you need to do is get a name tag or some stickers and apply it to them. Here's a couple of examples from my inventory. As you can see, the float value is zero and the paint value is zero. So what's so special about this knife then? 
Well, two things. Firstly, and I tried this out, you're not able to do this with knives. So I went in game, I got myself a name tag, I got the name tag, I went and I applied it to a default knife, gave it a name, hit accept, and as you can see, in my inventory, it doesn't have a float value or a paint seed. Default knives don't have this. But there's a bigger problem here too. You can only do this with default weapons anyway, and a bayonet isn't a default weapon. You've got to pay for it. So this whole scenario can't actually happen. It's impossible. This skin should be impossible, but obviously it exists. So what the hell is going on? Well, there's probably only one person who truly knows, and that would be the owner of the account. The problem is though, they're kind of hard to reach. I can't leave a comment, those seem to have been locked since 2017, and who knows when they're going to accept my invite. And even if they did, I don't know how great their English is going to be, which is a bit of a problem given I'm a lazy first language English speaker who never bothered learning other languages. I'm sure once this video is out, plenty of people will contact them to ask them what's going on and we'll get the story, but in the meantime, I think we can still take a pretty reasonable guess at who the culprit is. And again, just like with the No Star Karam, but it's probably Steam support. You see, it's likely that the owner got scanned for the skin at some point during 2013 and 2014, and back then, Steam support would actually restore scammed items. They don't do it anymore, there was a big problem with duping, but back then, they would restore items. And what probably happened is the support agent didn't really know much about skins, may also be new to the job, and kind of screwed up and restored it as a non-tradable item. Again, it is just a guess, it's hard to know for sure unless the owner explains what happened, but that's probably where it came from. But what we can do a better job explaining is how this thing ended up getting missed. Skins can remain hidden for years sometimes. A really good example is actually this skin, it's a minimal wear, Shroud or Dragon Lore, and it was actually recorded being opened on video in 2017. Hello. Ring low. <laughs> Dragon Law! Dragon Law! Dragon Law souvenir! Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, when this video first came out, it was widely seen as a fake. The, the setup seemed ridiculous. He's like, hey guys, watch this! I'm gonna pull a Dragon Law! Wink, wink! But more importantly, the skin didn't appear in any databases because the owner kept his account private, which was incredibly suspicious, and as a result, no one believed this unboxing was real. But four years later, the skin was actually registered on Float.db. It turned out it was real all along. So skins can remain hidden in the dark for ages, but that is definitely not what's happened here. The guy who owns it used to be something of a trader, or at the very least, he was into CSGO skins. His inventor has registered three times on CSGO Exchange in 2015 and 2016, and at one point at least, he owned a Sapphire flip knife. He was not a casual, and he definitely wasn't keeping his inventory private the entire time. So how is it possible no one noticed this thing? Well, the answer may actually be kind of technical. You see, for a database to register something, it has to know what it's looking at. And as a CSGO skin that should be impossible, the databases may have ended up just missing it entirely. You see, most databases tend to focus on stuff that's tradable or marketable because they tend to be the most useful skins. And when you've got finite processing power, there is no point wasting resources on untradable and unmarketable stuff that no one cares about. But of course, that also means this bayonet is going to be accidentally excluded. Now, there is a database I know that does register untradable and unmarketable items, it's CSGO Exchange, and while you can search for default weapons on it, you are limited by category. So it's not really set up in the right way to let you find this bayonet. And that's assuming it's even registered properly on it in the first place, which it might not have given, I doubt the developer prioritized items that should be impossible when he made the database. So given all that, maybe it's not a surprise that it's only just been discovered. It's a pity the skin isn't tradable, otherwise the owner would be in for a massive payday, but it does also make you think, if something like this could be hiding in plain sight for so long on an active account, how many other secrets are hidden away out there on private, abandoned accounts that we don't know about? I think there could be quite a few surprises still out there. Anyway though, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. 
See ya.